Competition is a good thing, and Tesla has some major competition with the Faraday FF91. This is an all-electric SUV competing with the Model X. We took the Model X on a road trip from Salt Lake down here to CES, and now I'm gonna take the Faraday FF91 out for a spin. I think it's super interesting that Tesla is named after an inventor that lived, you know, 150 years ago who worked on like the alternating current that we see in the power lines. And Faraday was yet another scientist who lived about 150, 200 years ago and was the, one of the pioneers in electromagnetic induction. So we have two famous scientists whose names are now being used in competing electric car companies. Pretty awesome. So one of the extremely unique features of the Faraday Future are these dual antennas on the back, these little shark looking fin things, which actually give it a really strong internet connection with 350 megabits down, which is faster than most broadband connections in the United States. You could live stream from it, you can download videos from it, and a lot of that data connection will be used for the self-driving section, you know, giving updates on the road, other cars around you, things like that. The logo right here, when looked at sideways, it's actually an FF for Faraday Future. So you've seen the Model X and the Falcon Wing door, the doors on the Faraday Future are a little bit different. There's a button right here and a button right here. And both of them are automatic. They just open the opposite directions. Huge thanks to Faraday for sponsoring this video and giving me a chance to take their car out for a spin. Remember, this is a pre-production model, so we're checking out the exterior and the performance of the car and not so much the interior. That'll come later when the car's actually released. Now we're inside the Faraday, the FF91. This is kind of the pre-production model. It's mostly just to show off the performance. You know, it's not built for comfort. We're in these like bucket seats with harnesses. It's definitely not gonna be what the finished car is gonna look like inside. But I can already feel the power from the two motors. <laughs> oh man. From the two motors in the back and the one motor in the front. We can see out the front windshield right here and then over here on the side for the rear view mirrors, they're just like this little stick with a camera in it. So it's gonna be interesting with the final version where they're gonna put that. Right now it's up here for like the rear view mirror. You can see each of these sides right here and over here and then the rear view is the back camera. What happens when you honk the horn? <laughs> nice. <laughs> One of the coolest things about this car is that, you know, you've seen the Tesla battery pack. There's been Tesla's dismantled and you can see like the huge rectangular battery packs. What Faraday's been using though is like these little modules that connect like little Legos all underneath the car. So like if something goes wrong with the battery pack, they can just pop one out and replace it. And they're not limited to one solid battery pack. You know, they can increase the capacity and decrease the capacity whenever they want to. With these modules, I imagine, you know, if you damage some of the modules, pop out the little Lego components and replace the modules that are damaged into the whole battery pack itself, which I think is pretty awesome. So the zero to 60 of this thing is 2.39 seconds. We have reached a stop sign and we are gonna floor this thing and see how fast it can really go. Oh, no way, dude. Oh, no way, dude. Hear the tire squeal on that. So I'm holding the camera with my hand and the G's from that just like bent the legs of my tripod backwards towards me. That was sweet. That was sweet. That was so sweet. Not everything's on the table right here, boys. No way. That's not 100%. One of the coolest things about electric cars for me and the reason that I think they're the future is because their electric motors don't need like a transmission to shift. You know, I just bought my Toyota Tacoma and for me to get to zero to 60, I have to shift the gear shifter five times. You know, let off the gas, shift the gear, let off the gas, shift the gear. But with these electric cars, they're instantly zero to 60, just straight up, no shifting at all required. And that's why they're so fast. 2.39 seconds is ridiculous. 2.5 seconds is ridiculous. My Toyota Tacoma can reach zero to 60 in 7.7 seconds seconds. That's still pretty good. Some of the safety features going on inside of the Faraday is that this thing is going to pop up with LiDAR and then we have some radar up top, which is pretty similar to what we saw inside of the Model X. There's also some of these same proximity sensors and stuff. So we'll have some cameras right here on the side as well as this is the rear camera that we saw earlier that was showing up in the display off the dashboard. 
So as the Faraday is driving, the tires move a little bit as it turns. I think it has a turn of like three degrees or something like that, and that helps give a tighter turn radius than you would normally see in like a Tesla Model X. So because this car is named after Faraday, one of the scientists from the past, I think it would be cool to toss a wireless charger on the bottom of this thing. So you can just roll into your garage and start charging. I think that'd be a pretty sweet thumbs up to Faraday and his work with the electromagnetic induction and that wireless charging stuff. Electric cars are the future. Gas powered cars are going the way of the dinosaur. Let me know what you think of this car. Would you ever buy an electric car? And what do you think of the Faraday FF91? I'm super stoked. I love the competition that's happening right now. Thanks a ton for watching, and I'll see you guys around.